Not me, us, past, because you showed up. And I hear time and time again, David, these laws don't work. Let me tell you a story. These laws do work. And you know why? Because the law that we passed in Florida, my mother got a death threat that said, F with the NRA and you will be DOA. Yes, that's right. I can't say that on TV though. But uh, <laughs> law enforcement used the red flag law that we created, that we passed in the wake of Parkland to disarm the individual who sent my mom a death threat and threatened to kill her by a court order. Seems like these laws work to me. That law, because of us turning out, very likely may have saved, may have saved me from having to bury my own mother. These laws work. People say that these laws don't work, and what's funny is, you know, there's a strong recent public health example that it lays out exactly what we need to do to prevent gun violence. Just look at the tobacco industry. We need to treat guns the way that we treated cigarettes 30 years ago. With cigarettes, we didn't just change the laws, we addressed why people wanted to smoke in the first place, and it can't be either or, it must be both. We have to address how people get guns and why they feel the need to pick them up in the first place. We must address the fact that the reason why communities like Parkland don't have shootings on a daily basis isn't because we necessarily have the strongest laws in the country, it's because we have some of the most resources in the country. Gun violence is a symptom of injustice. And if Parkland is safe, but Southeast DC is not safe, or Miami is not safe, we are not done fighting. Because we want every child and every loved one to be safe in every zip code, no matter if they have the same skin color or pray to the same God as us, because all of us deserve protection.